In this tutorial in CyberLink FireDirector, we're going to take a look in depth at the background music options that you have in PowerDirector 365. Now we realize that many of you will turn to the sound files that are now available through Shutterstock, but that doesn't mean you need to ignore what you can do with the background music options. So we're going to be in our media room and then I'm going to click the arrow that will get me to the subcategories and one of them here is called background music. Immediately it will open up the music and show me all that I have. It will classify it. I can use all content, simply the downloaded content, or I can go by category. Now one advantage of the background music is that all of this is in a database as it were and you can see lots of information about any particular music clip that you have. And so what I'd like to do is show you a few things that you can do in some of the inner workings of the background music. I have one here called A Sweet Dream and if I just click on it and hit the play arrow I can actually preview it before I use it. Now another thing that you may not know that you can do is you can actually remove it. So if I right click on it, I can click on delete from disk. Now this is going to give me an interesting piece of information. If I click on it here, it will tell me where CyberLink stores the files. It's in the C users subdirectory, public, under CyberLink, and then under downloaded audio. And you notice each of the files in the database, which you're looking at on the screen, starts in BKM underscore, and that has a number. And the number is the same as the file in the subfolder. So each subfolder has this particular structure. So this is what it is. So if I want to delete it, it will remove it from the disk. I've opened my Windows Explorer and I see that particular folder in that directory. If I double click on it, I'll see that I actually have two different files. First one's the preview file, because when I click to play it, I see it's 32 seconds long. And when I click on the MP3 file, I see it's one minute and seven seconds long. So that's where you can see how they structure the download of these files. So this is what I have in the downloaded audio. Now I'm going to close the window and let's go ahead and delete it. I'm going to click on yes. Now when you delete it, it will remove that file from the folder. But it doesn't mean that you can't retrieve it again. Notice this is called a sweet dream. And now the icon is active for me to re-download the file. And we're going to look at some other options in managing these kinds of data for you when you're working with background music. I've now loaded the application manager. And I'm going to get into the audio section. And now what it does is it will scour my system to see if it can find which files have been installed and which ones not. Now one thing you need to note is simply because it says download does not mean that every single file in that particular collection has been downloaded. I'm going to click on the inspiration one and click on the file folder to the left of the word download. And you notice here, some of them have been downloaded and some of them not. Now, originally what I did was I downloaded all of the files, but two of them I have actually deleted using the process you just saw when I was looking at my background music. So one of them that we just deleted was called a sweet dream. Now, when you load the application manager, it looks to see which files are empty. And so it actually turned this from downloaded to blue, which means I need to download it again if I want it. I can still click on the arrow and play the preview if I want. Or I can download it. So now it knew that it was not in the database because I deleted it. And now I just repopulated it by using the application manager. 
So if you're going to take some sounds out of your system, that doesn't mean they're gone forever. You can go back to the application manager and download or re-download them so long as they're deleted properly from the database. So I'm back in my copy of PowerDirector. I'm going to click on background music. It will repopulate that and I'll click on my downloaded options and here I have the one called Sweet Dream and you notice now it's checked as downloaded because when you repopulate this you don't have to download it again. There's some other options that you have when you're looking at this particular menu. When you click on the All Content you can see the items that have been downloaded and those that haven't because those that have not will have this down arrow. And so if you want to preview, all you need to do is click on it. It will play the short sample when you play. If you want to download it, you simply click on the down arrow as before and now you'll get the check mark. And then to delete it, all you do is right click on it, do delete from disk, say yes. And now you will have to download it again, but it's still stored as kind of an empty box in your file system. So that's a little bit of perhaps technical ways in which you can manage the background music files that are still available in PowerDirector. <music>